The Canadian national team will be back in action soon as they have their upcoming September window where they will take on the United States and Mexico. So today I'm going to come up with the 26 player roster that I would like to see Jesse Marsh bring for that upcoming window. So hope you guys are excited for the episode and if you are, let's get into it now. I did go with 26 players, although Jesse Marsh may bring 23. I don't really know. I just wanted the flexibility to be able to talk about a few more players. And I am going to make this squad very realistic. I'll throw in some dual nationals in there, but they're only dual nationals that I think actually have a chance to be called in. So starting with the keepers, the three keepers I expect to be brought in would honestly be Maxine Crepo, Dane St. Clair, and Tom McGill. Although I would bring Jonathan Sirwa over McGill, but I will throw in a wild card and that's Owen Goodman. This is a 20 year old playing in the same league as McGill. He's a dual national. He's four years younger. He's on Crystal Palace's books. He's very intriguing. And if you bring him into to a camp where it's just friendlies, no real big commitment needs to be had. He can just kind of come in and get familiarized with the player in the camp. So I'll throw that as a wild card, but I do expect it to be McGill. Onto the defenders we go. The two right backs are very straightforward. Alistair Johnston and Richie Larea. The center backs, I will bring five to this camp. I'm going to go with Derek Cornelius and Moise Bombito, two center backs who were starting at Copa America and got moves to Ligue 1 with Marseille and Nice respectively. Incredible moves. They are our two starting center backs, no debate around it. And for the depth pieces, I'll bring in Luke Defugerol, Kamal Miller, and my fifth will be Joel Waterman just to add another center back in there considering I'm bringing 26 players in my squad. On the left backs, we have Alfonso Davies and Sam Adekubi returning, which would be a nice little depth piece there and seeing if maybe he pushes Davies up. I'm not really sure, but Adekubi will definitely be included. On to the midfielders we go, starting with the right mid position. We don't have Tejan Buchanan, so starting off there will be Ali Ahmed, and then I'm going to put Mathieu Chouanier as the backup right mid. I know he's a central midfielder, but we're a little thin out wide, so Chouanier can go in there. At the time of recording, he's very close to his move to Grasshoppers. It does look like it's going to happen. If you want to know my opinion on it, I think it's a pretty lateral move. I wouldn't mind the move going to Switzerland if he was like a 20-year-old. Considering he's 25, I don't love it, but I will also never judge a player for wanting to to go to Europe. If he has a big season there, maybe it leads to a bigger move to Belgium, maybe a top five league. I don't know, but the player's backing himself and I respect that. In the center of the park with our number six positions, I have two players. It is going to be Stefan Eustachio and Samuel Piet. Now for the number eights, we have Ismail Kone and Jonathan Azorio. No real surprises there. Schwanier can go and play as an eight. So can Ali Ahmed, honestly. So there is actually a decent amount of options in the midfield. For the left mid position, we have Jacob Schaffelberg and Liam Miller. Now, Jacob Schaffelberg probably locked down the starting role in that position due to his incredible performances at Copa America, but don't sleep on Liam Miller. I thought Miller had a decent showing at the tournament. I do still think he fits Jesse Marsh's system very well. He is better on the defensive side of the ball than a Jacob Schaffelberg is, so different options there. And I actually did pick Liam Miller to be the Canadian who I thought would pick up the most assists in Europe this season. He's off to a pretty strong start with his new club, Hall City, picking up an assist in his last match. Finally, we have the strikers and I am bringing six. I know it's a lot, but there are a few strikers I'd really like to get a look at and we have a lot of depth there. So the six strikers are Jonathan David, Kyle Lahren, Tanya Loisi, Theo Bear, Promise David, and Santiago Lopez. There are a couple strikers I do feel bad leaving out. Jason Russell Rowe, I don't think did anything wrong. I just wanted to get a look at a few other strikers and it's hard to leave some of the other big hitters out. The other striker is E.K. Ugbo. Now, I'm a huge Ugbo fan. I would have loved to see him at Copa America, but considering the fact that he rejected the tournament, and I don't know the entire story, I just don't feel right bringing him into the very next camp. Jesse Mars said that he still has a future with the national team. I hope he still wants to be a part of the national team. I just wouldn't bring him into the very next window. So for that reason, I'm leaving him off. Jonathan David and Kyle Lahren are the two starting strikers for Jesse Marsh, especially if we play in a two striker system. Taniel Oasey is going to be the first striker coming off the bench. Jesse Marsh made that very clear. He really rates Tanny. The other striker is going to be Theo Bear, who I think should have got more minutes at Copa America. Just got a move to League 1. Definitely deserves to be in this roster. The final two strikers are the intriguing ones to me at least. Promise David, he is on a very impressive rise, going from Estonia to Belgium with Union saint gilois He's already won a trophy there. He scored some goals. This is a kid that I think is special and considering he's a dual national eligible for both Canada and Nigeria and he's made it clear he wants Canada, why not call him up and see what he's made of? The final striker is Santiago Lopez who is 
Again, a dual national, eligible for Canada and Mexico. He's represented Canada recently at the U20 level while representing Mexico at the U18. He was incredible for the Canadian U20s. We all know how special of a player he is, so this is an opportunity to bring him into a camp where there's no stress, there's no commitment. He gets to meet Jonathan David, Alfonso Davies, some of these big players, gets to talk with Jesse Marsh. And you know what? If you want to bring him off the bench for a few minutes against a Mexico, the other nation he's eligible for, I think that would be quite the statement. It's a no-brainer to me. I would love to see both these players brought into the roster. I will mention one more player, and that is Nico Seeger. I put out a report a few months ago stating that Seeger was open to playing for Canada, and now according to the HNS website, Seeger did file his one-time switch to Canada, and he had this to say. I want to represent the country where I grew up and started my football career, Canada. It's one thing to get a talented young dual national like Seeger to commit to Canada, but to be competing against a top nation like Croatia and win that battle shows that the program is going in the right direction. Jesse Marsh and Kevin Blue deserve a round of applause. Also to put a little icing on the cake, Seeger is a number six who can also play as a right back, but for Canada moving forward, considering after Stephanie Eustachio, we really only have Samuel Piet, Seeger is coming in at the exact time we need him the most. I unfortunately was just not able to add Seeger to my predicted 26 player roster for the upcoming September window because Joshua Cloak put out a report that Seeger more than likely won't be called up because he's nursing a minor injury. Multiple sources also informed Cloak that Canada is targeting the October international window for Seeger to make his Canadian debut. Canada just lined up a friendly on October 15th against Panama in Toronto, so circle the dates for that one. And on top of that, it's worth noting that Seeger may not be selected like I just mentioned for this upcoming September window, but he could still join up with the Canadian camp just to better understand the team and the staff. Now to wrap up the video, I'm going to give you guys my preferred starting 11 from this roster. It will be played in a 4-2-3-1 system. The starting keeper will be Maxine Crepo, right back Alistair Johnston, the two center backs Moise Bombito and Derek Cornelius, left back Sam Adekubi, the two defensive midfielders Stefan Eustachio and Mathieu Chouanier. The right attacking mid will be Jacob Schaffelberg, the left attacking mid will be Alfonso Davies, the center attacking mid will be Ismail Kone, and the striker will be Jonathan David. That is the 26-man roster and starting 11 I'd like to see for the September window against the United States and Mexico. Let me know down in the comments section if you agree with my roster and the starting 11. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to drop a like, drop a sub, and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers, friends!